Hello and welcome, my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2K Dev. In this tutorial, we're going to be covering how DS maps work and how you can use them. But first, this video has been live now on my Patreon page for some time. That's patreon.com forward slash RM2K Dev. So a special thank you is in order for those supporting RM2K Dev on there. If you're interested in helping fund the creation of videos like this, then please consider donating a few dollars to help pay for the expenses that go into content creation. Video editing tools, Photoshop, Adobe Premiere, engine licenses, time and things of that nature. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel as that really helps as well. With all of that said, let's get started. So a DS map is essentially a data structure that stores data. As the instructions say here, it stores that data in linked pairs uh, consisting of a key and a corresponding value. You can think of this as a dictionary. You know when you open a dictionary and you go look for a word? That is the key. You know, you're looking for the word hello. The description which explains what hello is, is actually the value. So a DS map is essentially a dictionary and a lot of other languages call these dictionaries. So what I've got is a basic um, Game Maker project set up. It's just a room with an object on it, and that object is called Object DS Tester. Now I've got a create event and a draw event. Neither of these have any code in them. What we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to create the DS map. We're going to tell Game Maker, hey, I need a space in memory to store one of these maps or dictionaries. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to store some data in this map. So I'm going to put some values into the dictionary. And then finally, we're going to pull those values out of the dictionary and display them on the screen. There's two ways to do this. There is a longhand way, which gives you a little bit more flexibility. And there's also a shorthand way, which doesn't give you as much flexibility. However, it's much faster to type. It's also easier to remember. And you can use it programmatically much easier than the other way. And I'll explain what that means in a second. So the first thing we need to do is create a map. We need to tell Game Maker, hey, I need a map in memory that I can store things to. So I'm going to say my underscore map equals DS map. And there's a function here called create. So DS map create. So essentially what we've done is we've told Game Maker, make me a spot in memory for this dictionary or map. The next thing we're going to do is store some data in this map. So I'm going to say DS map and I'm going to press control space. That's the way you bring up the uh, autocomplete. And you see we've got a couple of functions, add, add list, and add map. So essentially what add is, is we're going to add a value to the map. What add list means is that you can add a list into your map. So say for instance, you had an inventory and all of your inventory items had a list of properties under them. And that list of properties defined, you know, what the item could do. It could be, you know, health recovery values. It could be damage stats, you know, elemental type properties. That would be a list of information underneath your map. So you could use DS map add list for that. The other one we've got is add map. Now what add map does is it allows you to add a map into a map. So say for instance, we've got this map, this map is inventory and our items were a little bit more complicated than just, you know, a list of properties. They had a value which had a name. They had a uh, equipable by class type. They had uh, elemental stats and properties. And we also had a list of, um, you know, uh, affinities to different types of classes. This is when you'd need to get some really rich data. So you'd be able to add a map inside of a map. But for this example, we're just going to use DS map add. So the one I want to do this to, you see, we've got the IntelliSense down the bottom. It's suggesting that we have ID, key, and value. Now, this is this goes back to the dictionary example that I said before. Key being the word or the word you're looking up in the dictionary, and the value being the description of what that is. And the ID is essentially the ID of the map we want to store this in. So the ID is going to be my underscore map. Second property is the key. Now this is the this is the key in the dictionary. This is our, like I said, this is hello. So I'm gonna say hello for now. And the value is going to be the description of what hello is. So hello is a greeting used between people to say hello. I don't know, I don't know how to write a dictionary, but you get the idea. Um, that's how we that's how we add a value into our DS map. I'm gonna add another value. So I'm gonna say DS map add my map. And I'm going to say goodbye. And then this is going to be used to, I don't even know what the, I don't even know what the definition of goodbye is, but, um, you know, used when ending a conversation and leaving, I don't know, whatever it is, but two values, sorry, two keys with two different values stored under one map. And we've used the DS map add functions to achieve this. Finally, we need to pull the information out of the map. So what you can essentially think of this as is we've created this dictionary. 
the dictionary now lives inside of our game. At any point in the future, we're able to pull information out of this dictionary. We can go back and look it up, and we can do that in two ways. So I can say, hello, def, which is going to be, you know, the definition of hello. And the first way I can do this is using a dsmap function. So I can use dsmap, and the value, and the function we're looking for is dsmap find value. So essentially, we're going to find a value by using the key. So we're looking in the dictionary for the word hello to get the definition or the value. So I'm going to say my underscore map for this one. And the key is going to be hello, because that's the value we're looking for. We're looking for the definition of hello, which we've stored using the dsmap add function. So now what will happen is our code will run, we'll create a DS map, we'll store some data into that map, and then we'll pull the information out of the map. Now this isn't the only way you can pull information out of the map. There's another way. So I'm going to show you that with the goodbye def, or goodbye definition. There is a syntax in Game Maker called accessors. Now these are data accessors. It's a shorthand way of saying I want to access data inside of a data structure. And the way we do this is instead of typing any function, we just say my map. Then I'm going to use a square bracket and a question mark. I'm basically saying I'm looking in this map for hello. Now that will do the same thing as this. It's just shorthand and you can use this, you know, in context, in code a lot faster. One of the cool things is that hello being a string, we can actually define a value. So we could say query equals hello. And then we could also say instead of using the physical word hello here, we could say query. So if you had, you know, an inventory or something where you've got a list of things that you're loading in from a file that you're using to look up in these maps with, this makes it a lot easier to work with programmatically. It also works here with this DS map find value, but the shorthand way is just a little bit quicker, um, in, quicker to type out, quicker to get working. And it also gives you context about what map you're looking up more obviously than just having a list of functions. So if you had a lot of these DS map find value functions all over your program, it would all look the same. Whereas this, it's more unique to the situation, if that makes sense. So now we've got uh, hello def and goodbye def. Let's just display these on the screen using draw text. I'm gonna draw this at 1010 and I'm gonna say hello def and also draw our goodbye def at 1025. So goodbye. Def. There we go. Now, if we run our application, we should see two values on the screen. A greeting used between people to say hello, a greeting used between people to say hello. I think I've made a mistake there. Let me just have a look at my goodbye def. Did I say hello? I did. That should say goodbye. <laughs> there we go. So the query was we're looking for the goodbye value. Then we can look up map. My query. Um, my map question mark query. So now what you see on our screen is we have a greeting used between people to say hello and then used when ending a conversation and leaving question mark. So that's essentially how we use a DS map. Now there's a lot more functions in a DS map. So I'd recommend opening up the game maker manual and just having a look at some of these other functions. We have some really good stuff here like DS map empty, which allows you to clear out the DS map when you're done with it. You know, if you've, if you've got a list of, I don't know, um, a list of uh, elemental affinities that your character has, you know, or statuses or debuffs that have been applied to your character, you know, and the timer is up and they're ready to go away, you can just empty the map and suddenly they're all gone. Um, you can also use DS map size to find, you know, how big the map is, how many entries there are. Um, you can use DS map exists to see whether or not the a value exists inside of the map because, you know, a value might not exist, you know, like this guy, like this example here is showing, um, DS map exists inventory potions, you know, does the player have any potions in their inventory? Yes or no. You might have specific use cases in your game for those sort of things. Anyway, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like I said at the beginning, if you did, please leave a like, comment and subscribe to the YouTube uh, channel. Also, you can find me on Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash rm2kdev. Your support really does help in making these videos. And I hope you've enjoyed this. So thank you for watching and bye for now.